Hi everyone, Metal Breakdown here. So the first thing I want to say today is to wish you all a very happy new year uh, for 2020. I'm truly wishing you all the best. It's the year we can do anything. It's a new decade. It's time for us to conquer the world. So let's fucking go. Um, and yeah, uh, for this video today, I'm going to talk about... Um, my top 10 of the upcoming metal album of 2020 yeah we're in this year now so it's time to talk about it i guess and i did that video uh, the last two years for 2018 and 2019 uh they both receive a fair amount of view but the one last year received way more way many more views than uh, the one for 2018 so I want to keep going with that trend and I know we can do at least 2000 this year so let's fucking go uh, make sure to hit the like on the video and to comment uh, so that will help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm um, and make sure to share it if you enjoyed it that's for sure also it's way more like professional than what I did the last two years so yeah we should be able to do it we have more subscribers as well so yeah let's talk about uh, the top 10 uh, metal albums that excite me the most this year uh, and that are almost certainly coming to us. I'll also give you guys some honorable mention before starting. So let's fucking go. Okay, so I'm going to start with the honorable mentions. Most likely I'm forgetting a lot of them but I have five in mind right now, so I'll just go ahead with them. Um, so yeah, uh, first one is the upcoming Asking Alexandria album. Uh, they changed direction completely with the last one, which was the self-title, which came out, I think, at the uh, end of 2017. Um, yeah, really cool album. I hate it at first, but uh, I learned to love it. Also, the new Eight Breed last one was like in 2016, so it's been a fucking while, and they're always so good. So yeah, super excited for that. Um, also, uh, the new Night Wish, which will come out in the first quarter of 2020. Definitely keeping an eye on that. I'll do a lot of reactions for sure. Uh, and the new Testament. Uh, the last two albums were so good, so definitely looking forward to the next one. And yeah, after all, I, I have only four in mind, so let's go uh, right away with the top 10. So in the 10th position, I went with the upcoming Macedon album. Yeah, you probably guessed it already, I'm wearing a shirt by then right fucking now, so they had to be in the top 10. Uh, the last album was really good. Uh, it was even better than Once More Around the Sun, in my opinion. So, definitely going in the right direction. Uh, the EP they released right after was good as well. So, uh, super stoked for that for sure. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully, we'll get a single soon. Nothing is announced yet. So, uh, my opinion is that we'll probably get it around the end of 2020. Uh, in the ninth position, a band I was not expecting to put on this list, it's Iron Maiden, uh, because we basically had no information on a, an, on an, an, oh my god, we basically had no information on an upcoming album, so, uh, I was not expecting to put them there today, but apparently, uh, some rumors said that the album is done, like, now, it's all done, so maybe we could get it sooner, than uh, we thought. Uh, I think the Book of Souls came out in summer 2015, so maybe a summer release once again. They still have some touring left to do for the Legacy of the Beast, so maybe more later in the year. I don't know, we'll see guys, but I'm definitely super excited for a new Maiden album. In the 8th position, I went with Exodus. Uh, last album came out in 2014, so that was a really long time ago. Uh, six years ago to be exact. Uh, first album after the return of Steve Souza, the lead singer. Uh, it's such a banger. The song that I was playing right now with uh, Kirk from Metallica is so good. So I definitely want another killer trash metal album by Exodus in 2020. Uh, in the seventh position, another uh, trash metal band with uh, the German band uh, creator. Uh, 
for them as well. Their last two albums were so fucking good. Uh, Gods of Violence was one of my favorite albums of 2017. Uh, and I really listened to it like maybe a month or two ago and I was just blown away, like literally blown away. So if they can do it once more, and I know they can do that, uh, this album will be among the best of 2020 for sure. Uh, in the sixth position this time around, I went with Meshuga. Uh, super excited for that album. Uh, I don't remember who said that in the band, but apparently it's coming out in fall 2020. Um, all their albums are so fucking good, so uh, I always have so much faith in Mishuga. And uh, I was able to see them live at Sonic Temple uh, last spring in Columbus in like May 2019. And since I saw them live, I love them even more. So fucking good. I love this band, guys. <laughs> now, uh, with the top 5 in the 5th position, I went me with uh, Megadeth. I think uh, originally the album was supposed to came out last year, but uh, you probably saw that Dave Mustaine had uh, a cancer. Uh, at least now, apparently, he is doing good, and uh, which is not surprising. He's so fucking strong, and uh, we all knew he could do this. So yeah, so glad that um, the health of Dave Mustaine is going in the right way again. Um, so because of that, we had to wait another year for the album. I'm not complaining. I totally understand. Um, also, I think you're opening for uh, Five Finger Dead Punch on the Europe European tour. So uh, they'll have a smaller set for them before headlining again. Uh, the only thing that sucks about last year is that I was supposed to see them with Ozzy. Uh, but yeah, Ozzy cancelled the tour, so now uh, with the new date, it's not Megadeth this year, it will be Manson, and I already saw Manson live, so uh, I wanted to see Megadeth because Megadeth is the only fan of the Big Four that I have not seen uh, live yet. So definitely looking forward to that hopefully in 2020. Uh, in the fourth position, guys, I went with... Uh, Lamb of God, another band that I have not like put out a record in a while. The last one was in 2015. I won't pronounce the name because I'll fuck it up for sure. It was even before this channel began. So before it began, yeah, I think before this channel began. Uh, so um, yeah, it's been a, it's been a really long time. First album without drummer Chris Adler, who left the band. Uh, for good uh, in 2019, which sucks, but uh, at least I, I saw them live like three times with Chris, and I was able to see them this year as well with the new drummer. He's killing it as well, so um, there's not even a question that uh, they will still be incredible both in studio and live, but it's sad that Chris is not there uh, with Lime of God anymore because we fucking love you, uh, Chris. But yeah, the new album will uh, come out probably really soon because at first they wanted to release it in 2019 and I think they, start the, they started the teasing today, so definitely coming soon. Uh, in the third position, I went with Gojira. Uh, last album came out in 2016, so we'll definitely get a new one this year. I really don't know about the direction. Uh, I just don't want them to go too mainstream. But I know they can nail it. All their albums are so fucking good. So I have faith in Gojira so much. I know they can put out one of the best albums of this year. Uh, so I'm not that worried. Uh, they'll probably blow us away again this year. Uh, and in the second position, guys, I went with Trivium. Their last album, The Sin and the Sentence, really put them at the new eye. Um, like on the road to become one of the biggest metal band of this generation so uh, I love them so much uh, and I want them to succeed so bad uh, another band I saw a lot during the, the last album cycles I think I saw them yeah, I think I saw them four times yeah and in four different cities Orlando Montreal Chicago and Columbus <laughs> So yeah, it was definitely 
uh, a lot of fun to see Trivium uh, during that album cycle. Uh, I just want them to stay heavy and do another banger like the Sin in the Sentence, but maybe a bit more progressive like Shogun, but still something you will see, I have faith in them. Uh, so yeah, and in the first position, because like they're the band that got me into metal and the band I saw the most live, I think now I'm at 8th time seeing Avenged Sevenfold. Uh, I have to put them at the top of this list because, yeah, even though I don't really listen to them that much, they're still my favorite band out there. Um, and I'm looking forward to see uh, what they'll do next so much because, yeah, I love the stage at first. The stage is their last album that came out in 2016. But after being with the album for more than three years now, I'm like, hmm, they could have done something better, something bigger, uh, because it was really not a great success for them. They still like sold out arena because of their fame before, but I don't think that this stage itself really did something for them in terms of popularity. But in that album cycle, they opened for Metallica during the North American tour, so that probably helped them a lot. But yeah, I know they can crush it in 2020, I know they can do a masterpiece. Uh, I just want it to be like heavy, at least as heavy as Nightmare. I know they probably won't come back with a lot of screams and everything, but it would be cool to have some unclean vocals on a track or two. And uh, I definitely want some like trashy stuff. We'll see. Uh, but that was my list, and guys, it was truly like a personal list. Uh, if you completely ate Van Sevenfold, that's fine with me. Uh, you don't have it to agree with me, uh, it's really my personal taste, but I think I made a good list, I think uh, all the top 10 will be a fucking killer, cannot wait to hear um, all these albums, and also for the uh, honorable mentions, I forgot to mention like Suicide Silence, this album will be cool for sure, also uh, Five Finger Dead Punch is releasing a new album soon, usually I'm really not a fan of them, but the last single was cool, so could be interesting. Uh, we'll see when it will came when it will come out. So I think that's pretty much it for this video. Again, uh, if you want to support this video, make sure to leave a like and to comment to help with the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see more content uh, by me, make sure to subscribe to my channel and activate the notification bell to not miss anything. There's definitely a lot coming in 2020 and I'll do a small challenge with myself for the first 50 days of this year. I'll try to upload every fucking day without missing a day for 50 days just to see if it will help like with the subscribers with the likes with the views we'll see uh it will be a cool experiment to make jared dines did it like in late uh 2019 so i want to try it myself thank you so much for watching guys take care all of you all so much have a great year and uh it will be incredible on this channel this year so stay tuned